Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. I've been thinking about this for over two months now, and it's time to make an announcement. It's been a lot of work, a lot of thought went into this, but I'm certain that it has to be done. Welcome to the Fashion Bunker merch, Halloween merch, you guys. Today I will present to you a labor of love. Chucky is with me to help me do this. What's going on basically for the past two months, I have been working with my team almost without interruption on getting this stuff done. Jacob the Extract, the Halloween dedicated collection of merchandise is available in my Teespring store. You can find the link to the Teespring store pinned at the top of the comments underneath this video, but you can also see some of the products highlighted in the so-called shelf, which is kind of the scrollable little bar underneath this video. So both of those places is where you can find the pieces, but let's get to the pieces now, shall we? So this is the first one that you see, uh, the love of my life, I love my baby pink, with the psychedelic pumpkin, Jacob the extract, and then in the back, you get to see a little landscape, a psychedelic landscape where all the colors are strangely inverted. There is the reverse side of the metal to this particular imagery, and that would be the orange version. So we have the actual orange pumpkin here before it becomes this pumpkin. How does this pumpkin turn to this pumpkin? We're gonna get to that in a second. And in the back of this hoodie, you get to see this landscape um, moving a little bit so you can get to see properly. You have basically Jacob's pumpkin, <laughs> which is the extract. It's my perfume. Let me do this properly. So it's my perfume bottle, right? I, I don't have the budget yet to develop a perfume perfume, but I have a lot of great ideas in my mind, twisting and twirling all the time. So. I've idealized the, a perfume bottle and a concept of a perfume for Halloween. So this bottle is supposed to contain a special essence that uh, my zombie hand, which is me coming from the ground and spraying it for Halloween, once, or it could be you, when you spray this perfume, this particular magic little potion here changes the world you're seeing and everything turns to a psychedelic world, right? That's why this particular uh, design is a psychedelic pumpkin and this is the classic standard orange pumpkin. So this bottle, once you spray it and you get this perfume, the world turns to this in the back as well. And then, in the back I mean this is the landscape. That's the world you get after and that's the effects of it. And the vision of this, the visual of this pumpkin, because I like it so much, I have placed it in really big here on Crunex. So this one is also available for purchase. Uh, the huge, 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 huge psychedelic pumpkin. This one hasn't been sprayed yet, but it has its little spritzer there um, on white. I thought it's really good, this contrast of white and the psychedelic colors, because as the more you wear it, it gets kind of torn and worn. It's going to look really, really great when it gets a little bit dirty. This white needs to get dirty to make it look even better. And um, of course you can get the crew neck in black with the orange pumpkin on top. So before it turns to the psychedelic pumpkin. So you have the effect before spraying it and after spraying Because some people might be more conservative Halloweeners out there that, you know, want the orange pumpkin without all of these crazy colors. So some people might not be into this. I'm totally into this. I'm like, let's reinvent Halloween for our own purposes. And um, Moving on, there's also another piece. I have a couple of samples here to show you. I don't have the whole collection. That's why I repeat, go to Teespring. Link is pinned in, at the top of the comment section underneath this video. A couple of pieces are also in the shelf or bar underneath this video, but a couple of samples I've ordered are here. This is another really interesting version of the zombie hand cut. You have the bone there, Jacob the extract. Decided for almost like a, Hitchcock vertigo type of font, very, you know, reminiscent. We're talking, the, it could be, you know, 50s, 60s style. Uh, big moon, hand, and we have here the, the little cloud. It sprays it. So, now, 
Just a quick note here to let you know, don't worry about, so when these t-shirts or crewnecks or whatever comes uh, your way, there will be, and I'm looking for, if I can find, I think it flew down. Found it, so, okay, so, most of your pieces, when they arrive, they're gonna have this sticker on them, which means wash and wear. Uh, smell and marks will disappear after washing. So what happens is in the factory, and they, they make these, um, if you're ordering from Europe, they will be produced, I think in the Netherlands, and then sent out to wherever you are in Europe. If you're in the States, they will be produced in the, manufactured in the States and sent out to the States. If you're from Australia or somewhere in Asia, they're either going to send it to you from the States or from Europe. So I'm not so sure how that works. But so they produce as close as possible to the country you're ordering from, which is cool. And don't worry about it because like, for example, in this case, well, actually here, I'll show you more. So because they are not washed when they arrive and because they print them for you, see this difference here in color. Don't worry about this because this is from the press of the machine that pressed on the sticker because it's a big it's a big, it's a, it's a big machine that presses on. In this case, the pumpkin is a little tiny thing, but the print could have been bigger. So they still use the entire machine to press this garment. So this is a pressure point, which once you've washed it, this disappears and the orange, which is this original material will become the same color. So this, you won't see this anymore. So that's something to note. Don't be scared. I was shocked too, when I saw it, when it arrived and I was like, this looks bad, but it doesn't look that bad because this one, for, for example, uh, it's all not visible anymore. You know, the whole, after washing, everything is, is gone. You don't see the difference. Well, okay, this is like white. It's overlit now, so you don't really see, but there is no transition between the white. So don't be worried about that. As far as smell is concerned, now I did have a few issues with t-shirts in the past with my, I never give up on love t-shirt. They smelled a little bit um, like vinegary. And I think it has to do with some silicones or something, but first wash, it's all gone. These, these um, pieces had absolutely no issues with smell. And you know, me and smell, I'm, I mean, designing perfume bottles for Halloween. Like I love my perfume. So I'm really, really have a very, very fine-tuned sense of smell. If something smells, I notice it immediately. I had absolutely no issues with the crew neck and with the hoodies. Oh, by the way, so as I was mentioning before, you can see here the difference in these two colors and you get that little sticker that says wash it. When you wash it, it's gone. So this is not an issue. This is not something that you should contact them for. First wash it and see if it blends in nicely. If it does, you're good to go. In case nothing should happen, but in case something does happen, there's something off with the print or if it's not perfectly centered or if the colors are for whatever reason, but it shouldn't happen. But if it does happen, they're really quick. They get back to you. I'm going to leave the email uh, for Teespring for the customer service. I'm also going to pin it in the comment section down below um, so that you can, you can write them in case something is slightly off. But the first sample batch that I ordered, there were some issues. I contacted them. And they got back to me straight away. We solved the issue uh, without any problems, really. It just takes a little bit of time. And I know a lot of us are not patient in these days. Kind of patience is running thin. I get it. And for them, it takes some time because they will maybe ask you, you know, take a photo if something is not done right so we can see what's done wrong. And then they can compare it to the actual product that should be sold. And then, you know, that takes time. But it, it's solved. I had an issue with the first batch of samples ordered. Uh, some things were printed a bit smaller, whatever. But it was dealt with and the issue was solved uh, to my satisfaction. I have had several uh, trials and tests to going through the production of these pieces, um, samples that have been ordered, then fine-tuned colorways and patterns that have been adjusted and readjusted several times because... Um, it's a process, just to shortly explain it to you. When you're preparing any, every brand, um, even, you know, the bigger the brand, the more they go through trials and tests. You choose a design, a style, a colorway, a pattern, and then you, you send it into production, you get a sample back, then you see, okay, do you like the color? Do you not like the color? And then you kind of tweak it, fine tune it, then send it to print again. So for example, I can show you a quick example uh, of um, this is the, Final version, sample, back print of the hoodie. 
This is the front side. But I did have a version in orange here. So this is one of the first samples that I got. So you can see here, there were some issues with printing the front part of the hoodie with the pockets, so it, the print turned out to be smaller than it should have been. See, it arrived smaller. It, I wanted it this big. So it turns out that they're capable of printing bigger when it's in the back of the hoodie. So I implemented the print in the back. And then the colorways were not to my satisfaction. These are a little bit too pale and too... They don't pop the way I want them to pop. So everything was tweaked, altered, changed. Everything. <laughs> the the colorway, the how the, the soil works here, how the... Um, Sky is lit with the lighter shades on top, bottom. I inverted that, so, or better said, my team inverted that. And then we got to here. This is the final result. So you can see the difference. There's a lot of work that goes into like tweaking, fine tuning. So a lot of love and effort went into this, you guys. This is not something that's been just like pooped out quickly. Like a lot of merch I see people just putting like one word on a t-shirt like, yeah, this is like minimalism. I'm like, no, that's lazy. Let's be very clear about this. A lot of work went into this. So also, for those of you who love mysteries and secrets, and because it is Halloween and I love a good mystery, there's a lot of hidden messages here. Everything has been constructed and built up to mean something. But of course, I can't reveal you the mysteries. You got to look for them yourself. There's a lot of details here that are very, very mysterious and secret. And because I love my mysteries and secrets, I also asked one of my favorite people in the whole wild world, Michael Myers. Hi, Mikey. Well, this is Mikey's mask, but where is my other? Oh, so let me move to the side and uh, show you a couple of, I asked Michael to model for me a couple of these uh, samples and Michael said, why well, sure, take a, well, I'll do it for you. So here are a couple of the images. While we're showing the images, uh, you can see Michael wearing them. I can also explain to you how this works. Basically the idea is since you know, it's Halloween during a terrible time where we're in lockdown. We're going to probably stay home. I know I will. I'm not going out. There's not going to be any parties. Um, I wanted a comfortable line for Halloween. I wanted to wear something super comfy at home like this. But at the same time, you can dress up. You can put on a mask like Michael is, you know, we have a mask on. But at the same time, he's wearing this merch. And you can just sit at home and chill. Sit at home, but not alone. Because I have an idea. Let me know in the comment section uh, down below what you think about this idea that I have. And that is to spend together every Saturday in a live stream um, in October as we count down to Halloween. So that would be, I think, four uh, Saturdays where we could do stuff. I, I have a couple of ideas, but let me know if you're interested in something like So we could like pick an hour and have that same hour every Saturday where we do that together, um, the live stream. And a lot of things could be done. A lot of things could be watched together too. Or we could also, I have an idea, I could build little stuff. Like I found this, this is so cool. Uh, Playmobil, um, it's Dracula's castle, but it's also like a little wardrobe. You kind of like close it and it's a little purse, a little purple purse. But Dracula is like sucking the blood out of this like zombie, but it's like a human that he has imprisoned. And he's like, always sucking his blood so he keeps eating him, but this guy's almost out of blood. This is really like gross. And Playmobil is a German company. Of course, only Germans could come up with something so sick. But anyway, enough shade. Um, I love that piece, by the way, but it's like totally contorted. Dracula would just attack a person. But anyway, we could talk about that in a live stream, for example. It could be something that we like kind of just spend some time together or carving a pumpkin. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, enough of the photos to the side. Um, Another thing that I was thinking about is perfumes in general are super important to me. And perfumes, you know, represent, they frame a period. And God knows this period, since it all began and this whole situation cannot be named, it's like Voldemort on YouTube. You're not allowed to name it, otherwise you get demonetized. But so the reason why we're, we're all in lockdown is basically has led me to... Um, intensify even more the use of perfumes in my life. And that's why I find it so meaningful this year to create this kind of perfume pumpkin bottle. Um, and you know, it is the first time I'm doing Halloween merch. I haven't done it in the, in the years past. And I thought, well, we have so much sorrow, pain, and so much 
bad stuff is happening in 2020. And I know that this is just a little, you could think like, there's more important things to do than create merch. But I, you know, I needed to think about something else. I needed to take my mind off of bad things. And this really helped me being creative and having something even little to look forward to like this really pepped my mood. And I thought to myself, well, a couple of my viewers that really like Halloween, and I know a lot of you like Halloween, and I know a lot of you who watch me love perfumes. I thought it's really cool to combine that and bring some joy and happiness into our homes because wearing this comfortable stuff, you could still like dress up and still be really cool for yourself and then wear a lot of perfume. And this is the point where I was getting to. Perfumes are even more so important to me this year than ever before because I'm, I'm, I'm at home so much of the time. And um, I've been really, you know, by not going out, I've been using perfumes for me. And completely for me and I've kind of went even deeper into my love and obsession for perfumes but also the understanding of them in respect to me and how I tick how my psychology works and I've just fallen more in love with them they're, they're they've become my friends even more than before so I wanted also to dedicate to kind of combine my love of perfumes with my love of Halloween together by creating this bottle it to me it's kind of like an homage, but also a tribute to the love of these two things. And I kind of try to unite them. And also, I wear Halloween memorabilia and Halloween related topic stuff all, all year round. I, I wear Michael Myers t-shirts all year round. I wear like Halloween themed clothing or accessories all year round. But a lot of people just wear it during the Halloween season. So I thought to myself, for those of you who will purchase these and maybe just wear this merch in this short period of time, from now until Halloween, uh, you will be wearing a certain perfume. I know, I mean, every day I wear certain different perfumes, but every month there's some perfume that kind of takes the cake that I've worn more than others. And usually if I were to wear one garment just for one specific period of time, again, I repeat, Halloween stuff I wear all year round, but let's say in winter there's a particular jacket when it's particularly cold and that particular month I would wear it just that month and then the jacket would not be worn later because it would get warmer or a particular sweater would be worn more than other sweaters and then that garment would soak in more the smell of the particular perfume that I'm using. So that's why this kind of extract concept, because if you are the type of person who's gonna wear this only during the period of Halloween and you will be wearing one specific perfume more than others in that period, this, garment would have soaked that smell of that perfume more than other perfumes. So you will always associate the extract, this concept of this bottle that's designed, that doesn't really have a smell, it's just an idealistic smell, conceptual smell. You will always remember, you will bring it together with the memory of the time we spent together during these live streams or while wearing this merch. So um, what I want to say is it will become your extract. The idea of designing this bottle and the concept of it will have a specific smell because when you start wearing this piece and you start spraying perfume on, on this piece, on you while you're wearing this piece, it will become your extract. So the idea is that each and every one of us can actually have their own smell associated to the Jacob extract. And that made me think, isn't this amazing? You know, usually we say, well, the perfume is, if a perfume is well made, it's supposed to smell slightly different on everybody's skin. But you know, with today's society and perfume strategies and how brands like to go cheap on us. They make really very synthetic ingredients through and through the perfume. So kind of, they don't really change that much on our skin, but they just smell the same on everybody. Like, uh, I don't know, CK1. It smells like CK1 on everybody. There's no, it doesn't smell, you know it's CK1, you know? So stupid example, but, but I wanted to develop an idea of a perfume that really smells different in everybody. So you're all wearing the same maybe crew neck or hoodie, but you'll smell different because you're all wearing your own perfume. But your own perfume under the idea of the extract, of the Jacob extract. I find that very poetic. But anyway, you know how I am. I'm always like drifting off with my thoughts. So that, that was one of the ideas I had. I hope you, you like the idea. Now, this doesn't only have to be a tacky Halloween related subject because I also have, of course, for the occasion, I've prepared um, to style something else for you. We can go really high luxury here. We could do Chanel, the 255 bag, the love of my life, my holy grail. This is Coco size or the closest that we get to Coco's 1955 Chanel, the classic size, double flap, 255 bag. How amazing it is combined. You know what I mean? You could like anything, your favorite bag, you could style your favorite necklace, chunky necklace on top of here, perfection. But let's, 
just put this on like this. And I always make a mistake because I do it on the wrong side because we want the pumpkin to be visible. So there you go. And then the hoodie. Bloop. So I have my little bag here. And then in the back, things like that. I can't see myself in the back. I don't know if I kind of pulled the hoodie right, but it's perfection. If you're just gonna go quickly out of the house because you wanna stay home because we are still socially distancing and you just wanna go to the grocery store and buy some food, some corn candy or whatever you need to buy for Halloween or a pumpkin because we gotta carve them. Um, hello. Or if you're just fabulously going to work because people still have to go to work even during this terrible time. Um, zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it up with Jacob's The Extract. That's all I wanted to say, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, please do thumb it up and share it with the ones you love. Or get them a hoodie or a sticker or a mug or a t-shirt or a crew neck with the extract. And let me know again in the comment section down below if you want to do the live streams every Saturday in October as we count down to Halloween. Until next time, never forget to never give up on spooky love. See you soon, take care, bye.